More vibes we play 24-7 on Vibes Radio. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. all the way from the United States of America. Where are you there, Pan? You, you, in the States, right? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Again, again, we take that again. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you're tuned in to Vibes Radio. So we're come on and ZJ now up in the place. And all the way from the United States of America for the first time. Yes. On Kenyan radio. Yes. Hood celebrity. No, no, no. Yes. <laughs> boom pani, boom pani. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so you want me to come boom pani. Tip, 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 tip. I'm mm-hmm. in town now. I'm bending down low now. Big yeah. party girl just a wine with the thing fun timing. We are so excited to have you on the show. Thank Mm -hmm. you so much for making time for this conversation. Yeah, man. Also, shout out to Destin Media. They made this possible. We love those guys. Hi. Yes. (laughs) So they made this possible, and we are so excited. We're happy. Also, the chains. Shout out to the chains. KSR. Yeah. Shout out to them as well. Yes. Now I yeah, want. Sort of vibes. Yes, going on. Should mm-hmm. we should we just kick off with your latest project? We catch it. Let's just catch it immediately. <laughs> of course, of course, guys. Of course. If yeah. you haven't gone to listen to this, you mm-hmm. need to. Mm-hmm. But celebrity is bringing us back to the dance floor mm-hmm. to actually dance. Yeah. Now talk to us yes. about Champion when you were writing that. By the way, do you like write everything down and you carry like a notepad on your notes to studio or do you freestyle once you? You get know, there? it's crazy. I have um. If I show you guys, I have like 10 notebooks of just lyrics. Books on books. Yeah, like 10 notebooks of just lyrics. Like I have a whole song book, which I showed to my fans before. And they was like, really like, oh my God. That's a lot. She really take it back. Yeah. But um, when I was writing Champion, not all the time I carry the notebook and write. Sometimes I have outbursts. Like I just be somewhere and lyrics come to my head. Yeah. I be talking to, we be having this conversation. I just blur out something out of nowhere. But um champion champion is a record that i wrote like in the energy of just feeling them powerful like powerful feeling like i was unstoppable like no matter what anyone try to do they wouldn't be able to stop what i'm about to do and you know how i take full control of my life nice that's why i'm like peace i'm a windy championship money tell watch me stamp on it i go hard put me stamp on it like hmm. all that i was saying i really believed everything that I was about to do was gonna be like out of this world crazy in a great way. Yes, and it's a song that everybody should listen to. Like if you're having a big meeting or you're going to your boss and you wanna ask for a pay raise <laughs> or you're just getting ready yes. to go to the club, like that is an epic yes. song to just If you wanna off. go to the, for people out there, like if you wanna go to the gym, like if yes. you're in that vibe of going to the gym, if you feel, anytime you feel, you feel unstoppable or you feel like, anytime you feel like you want to get in that mode, but yo, nobody can stop me. Like, what I'm about to do next, no one can stop me but God. Yeah. That's a record to listen to. Amen. That's Hallelujah. a record to listen to. Mm-hmm. Anyone, anytime you want to feel powerful, that's a record to listen to. You feel lazy, you don't want to get up and do nothing, play champion. Because that's what it does for me. Yeah. And when I do my music, I think how my music made me feel before I put that energy out to the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But music is music is powerful. Music can change your mood. Yeah. That's true. For real, for real. Very, very true. Mm-hmm. Now, I was on your Instagram and I cannot get over this video of this pregnant woman who is killing it doing the Bronx wine. I'm like, what? <laughs> what is this? This is amazing. First of all, I felt personally very challenged because I was like, I don't know if I can do the Bronx yes. wine like she can. And she's seven months pregnant. <laughs> So what yeah, made man, you want to bring the Bronx wine back? Because it's a dance that maybe many people have forgotten. People aren't really into dancing anymore. It's like now the dancing, do you guys feel pressure when you look, when you watch TikToks and Instagram? It's like yeah. you have to be a professional. <laughs> you have to be double jointed Yo, to be able to. I love the fact that, I love the fact that you, one, you know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I love the fact <laughs> that you know about the Bronx wine too. Because Bronx wine was a thing. Like I, I left Jamaica when I was 12 years old. And yeah. I grew up in the Bronx. I grew up in the Bronx and... I say 16, 17, all I was going to was house parties with my friends and, you know, little um after school parties when we was cutting school and going to parties. And that was <laughs> the Bronx Run was a thing where, you know, like you go to parties and people was just having fun. Nobody care about name brand, what kind of clothes you have on. Yeah. Nobody care if your clothes was Gucci and, and all this name brand that's out and stuff like that. Nobody cares. People just went to parties and they wanted to Bronx Run and they wanted to have fun. If you was from the Bronx and you didn't know how to Bronx wine, you really wasn't from the Bronx. You like, your Bronx card is taken away. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. The fact that I wanted to bring it back because 
one for the, with the pandemic yes. i don't care if you're rich i don't care if you're poor the world the whole world us as human we took a big hit with yeah. the whole pandemic like it don't matter how much money you have it had everyone sad yeah yeah and i feel like when you listening to music now you're not really hearing nothing that make you want to dance everything make you want to feel gangster and it's cool everybody make different type of music you know and yeah I just don't want I want my music to bring back that energy that joy in people where you really forget when you hear my songs I want you to forget whatever you're going through at least for the moment and just live in the moment of that record and 100%. that's what I'm saying let me take you back to dancing because nobody's doing it no more yeah I'm so happy you did it because this woman made yeah. my entire day <laughs> <laughs> all right so who, let's take it back a little bit you know of course you said you know I uh, born Jamaican you know grew up in Portmore how was it you know transitioning from Jamaica you know I mean moving to the States you know in uh, at the age of 12 you know I mean and yeah. just fast forwarding getting signed to epic records you know like how was the journey like describe to us mm -hmm. The journey was the journey was different. Mm. It was different. Um, mm. you know, growing up in Jamaica, I was raising my great grandmother. You know, once you say great grandmother, even grandmother is strict. Mm. So when you say great grandmother, <laughs> it comes strict, strict. It's like <laughs> the I level was of strictness. Where, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I wasn't really able to do certain things, and you know, I wasn't able to really go certain places. Yeah. So coming to America, where um. That's when I started reuniting back with my mother. My nice. mother left Jamaica when I was seven. Uh -huh. So we didn't reunite back until I was 12. Okay. So, you know, it was, I was babied a lot because it's kind of like, you know, she was trying to build that bond again. Yeah. But um, music has always been a part of my life. And leaving from Jamaica and coming to school here was different because I had a strong accent. Mm. So every time I used to speak in class, they used to be like, oh my God, say that again. Like, say that again. <laughs> like, you know, like they used to, it was there was like a maze. Yeah. Um, leaving from a hot weather to a cold weather, Oof, yes. where you know Jamaica's hot. Mm. We were in marina and tank top at Jamaica right. and t-shirt. I come to America where I had to wear gloves and two Big jackets coats. and two socks. Yeah. yeah. So that was different. Um, the 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 way we speak, you know, we speak Pato in Jamaica here is proper English. So it was different. It was a little bit different for me, but I just fast and. For people who don't know, I went to high school for violin and dance. So I used to play the violin. I've always been into music and dancing. That was mm -hmm. so having to work a nine to five and you know live paycheck to paycheck and take care of my family to being signed with Epic Records and mm -hmm. you know my whole life changed. Mm -hmm. I was able to move out the hood, yeah. help my mother. Yeah, I just moved my mother with me, so my life changed and so I'm able to do what i love yeah when you got that call from epic like you know who celebrity we want to have you on board you know we are, are, are delighted to have you on board like how was the reaction uh to you personally you not know, to your team to your family how did they did they take it my relationship um my my reaction um it was different but i didn't really know much you know mm -hmm. i was innocent still like as in i was just making music and having fun with it so when i heard like mad labels wanted to sign me i had like 11 labels at the time that wanted to sign me Ooh. and i didn't really yeah mm. i didn't really know how to how to react i was just like i told my manager i'm just like all right whatever like i don't care <laughs> like a, lot of those meetings, <laughs> a lot of those meetings i wasn't i wasn't even in some of those meetings yeah. to begin with because i really didn't i really didn't care because i really didn't know right. the business side if that makes sense yeah i was just like all right lit like like let's do it I don't care. Like, let's go. It's interesting. To that me, you... I always know, like, uh -huh. I control my music. You know, I right. always know, like, I control my music and I control the energy that I put out there in the world. Mm -hmm. So it didn't really matter who I was signed to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like that. I was saying it's interesting that you weren't even like at all of the meetings or that your your mind wasn't so focused on oh my god which label. Your mind was focused on the music. Mm -mm. But a lot of young artists get taken mm -hmm. advantage of um, mm -hmm. by labels because they don't read the paperwork correctly. Mm -hmm. They don't know the what contracts. they're getting themselves into. Mm -hmm. So what was mm -hmm. your whole experience and how did you make sure you like protect protected yourself to be honest with you and i can't sit up here and lie yeah i just trusted my team nice. i trust my team i trust my team i trust um shaf he's like a father figure to me and i trust that whatever decision he was gonna help me to go with mm -hmm. was gonna be a good decision yeah mm -hmm. and it was gonna do the right thing for my music and one thing he told me that 
it never left my mind. Like he said to me, he said, Hood, we're going with this label mm -hmm. because they're not going to change anything about you. They're going to allow you to be yourself. Mm -hmm. And he always told me like, Hood, you're 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 just different. Sometimes you look like Hood, you're weird, but it's it's different. Like I've never <laughs> met somebody like you. Yeah, yeah. And I always say to him like, whatever I do, just don't change that or don't try to change that about me because that's how that's you know it plays a big part in my creativity. Mm. Okay. I like that. So, Vibes Nation, just in case you're tuning in, we're speaking to uh, Miss Hood, Celebrity. And yes. uh, just in case you didn't know, there's some heavy features that she had, man. Tory yeah. Lanez, On and On, a French Montana famous, you know, mm -hmm. Estelle's uh, Lover's mm -hmm. Rock, the album, Back It Up, you know, with Cardi B. Yes. Not to mention Lil Kim, Seth and Dawn, and Cranium on the Nasty One. So, how did you um, get to uh, these collaborations? And were you in studio, like, voicing with them, or just like a label thing where you're sending their verse, them send them verse, you mix it up with the engineer and them things? Like, did you interact with them? You know I mean? Because these are heavy, 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 heavy records, you know, and, you know, awesome, awesome features. Mm hmm for um for all the features well for on and on before um megan mm -hmm. big shout out to megan right mm -hmm. sweetheart yeah. yeah megan Wright had reached out to me um and she said hood i want you to do this record nice and she reached out to me and you know because i'm all for women empowerment and i'm all for supporting people that support me mm -hmm. and when she reached out to me i didn't hesitate mm -hmm. i just did the record and after um she sent it back and I heard Tory Lanez on it. And I was like, yo, this is dope because I love Tory Lanez and I've always wanted. Yeah, when she sent it back, because you know, sometimes they like to surprise the artists. Yeah, or just like, they don't tell you who else. They got going on. Yeah. Yeah, when she sent it back, I was like, what I heard is his voice, like, but yeah, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I know this voice. I'm like, oh my God. And it's crazy because I've always wanted to work with Tory Lanez. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yo, yeah, because I'm like, yo, this is really dope. And that's for on and on. For um, Famous with French Montana, he reached out to my team mm. and he was very supportive of me. He followed me on Instagram. He always showed me love. And another one that I was super excited. Yeah. Little Kim as well. She reached out to KSR. And that's another collab. Little Kim is a queen. So it's like, yes. you know, all the blessings that mm -hmm. was coming my way, mm -hmm. all the blessings that was coming my way um, for, for um, Steph London. She's somebody that I've been, I've been supporting since, you know, she was doing her freestyles and stuff like that. So yeah. that was a big thing for me. Um, we have the we have fabulous and Trey songs on the Walking Trophy remix. Yeah. That was yes. big because fabulous, Ooh, fabulous is really the king remix. of New York. Mm. Yeah. yeah, fabulous is really the king of New York. Yeah. Period. Yeah, like I grew up on his music. Like I I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. So when you really get these artists on a record with you, mm -hmm. and you know, like even I, I tell this in for, for artists out there, for people out there, upcoming artists, right? It don't matter how big you are in the game. Yeah. When you have these artists that that's been there before you, you have to still show that level of appreciation and don't be scared to be a fan. Of, mm. Yeah. Because you're an artist. A lot of people they become musicians and then they're oh, I can't listen to her music. I'm not a fan because I'm a musician now. Like right. No, like I'm I'm still fanned out by a lot of these people. Like I'm fanned out by Fabulous when when my when the label told me he was getting on the on the remix, I was fanned out. They was looking at me like. <laughs> like, hood, hood, you're big. You know you're a star. I'm yeah. a big deal, star, also. I'm fanned out. This is a big deal. Like Trey Songz, this is a big deal. Like I grew up listening to Trey Songz music, so now that I have them on my record and I have them support me and love my music, like that's everything. Yeah. So in, in Jamaica, we have you know the rhythm culture. You know, um, people voice on rhythms and all of that. You know, I've been featured on a ZJ Chrome rhythm. You know, yes. and some couple of uh, rhythms. Yes. So, uh, when you're signed to Epic Records, do they allow you, they give you that freedom, you know, to go voice for Jamaican producers, you know, and voice for other producers or they have like a, a certain uh, team of producers and engineers that you have to specifically work with? Kindly let us know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what I love the most. Like I said, when a lot of labels, mm -hmm. so he's like, let me hear it. And I'm like, I love the way you whine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Said I love the way you whine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going and I'm like, yo, I need, I'm like, I need something to make it. I need something. I said, tracks, I need you to hit that bass, hit yeah. that bass and go crazy. Then that's what I'm like. Why ain't anything yelling, bro, 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 a, a strong hook writer. Right. So I know once I have the hook, 
You're good to that go. Was you it. can that, hack the that red. Love yeah. the way you wind the mm-hmm. hook was crazy. Mm-hmm. Then when I went into the the intro, the Wayne funny thing, Gallon Broco, Broco, Wayne funny thing, I'm over here, I'm joking, I'm tick tocking in the mirror. Now, <laughs> yeah, God, I fuck, I think. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, yo, track, I told him, I said, track star. I said, if you want to get technical, I don't even have to write a verse. Mm. I said, this is it. The song is done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I know how. It's just that music is, it, it got to be catchy. Right. It got to be catchy. Once mm-hmm. it was catchy and I made the dance to it, I said, this was it. And then yeah. history was made from there. All right. Amazing. So are we having like a, an EP, an album, something before summer or after summer? Because this is the first single that we put out this year. Do we have anything in the works, in the pipeline? Um. So I told myself, because, you know, I got the record um, champion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then I did the catch it. I told myself that after catch it, I'm dropping one more single mm-hmm. and I'm going straight to the album. The Ooh. album been done. And Ooh, my yes. album is so big. When I tell you big, like, you're going to be like, Hood, what was you thinking writing these records? <laughs> Is it like three, when three of the started, notebooks in one? COVID, yeah, when COVID started, <laughs> I told myself, I said, I said, I can't drop the album right now because mm, yeah. I know when this album drops, I'm going to be in Kenya. Mm. I'm going to be all over the world. Mm. Yes. Like, I, I need to perform these songs in person for you guys. I don't right. just want to drop the album and just, you know, doing the performance and yeah. just no I want to be everywhere performing these records these are big huge these are huge music mm. yeah can, can we get you know on an adrenaline we usually get something exclusive can you get like a feature you know like a date like a title or it's still still early give us the some. title I really the title I'm thinking is two names that I've been stuck with okay and I've always been stuck with I can't I can't believe it's just a girl because uh-huh. my music is, is is my music is big like it's not just about and you know like i said again i don't i try not to judge what people do yeah but my music is not just about regular something that a female would just sit down and write like mm-hmm. my, my mentality i've matured so much as a human being yeah so it's bigger than it's songs that you're gonna hear and you're gonna be like nah this girl is hard it's not mm. a female she did not write that <laughs> like you know what was she thinking yeah so i wanted it to be can't believe it's just a girl or like the real tina Oh, your name, yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, the now, now I understand why you're stuck. I also can't. And at least we have yeah. an exclusive. We know? do have yeah. an exclusive, y'all, and you'll know yeah. which one she picks when the album drops. <laughs> album drop. <laughs> yeah. All the right. Real Tina, and mm-hmm. I think I think I'm going strong. I'm standing strong a little bit on the real Tina because mm-hmm. everything you handed, this is me. This is yeah. who I am. This is yeah. what I went through. Uh-huh. This is the stuff that I've been through, the stuff I've overcame. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, just me living in my blessings that god gave to me now mm-hmm. all right Amen. all right so we're about to let you uh you know uh continue and enjoy the rest of your day but definitely would love you to come here in the, in, the, in the kenya you know and and perform you know i mean boom pan it doing yes. his thing catch it's gonna catch the vibe i think real, i would cry soon, during I mean. walking trophy i'd be like i'm a walking <laughs> walking trophy. trophy classic you know we play it here on the station and you go you have a hundred percent support you know from us and the whole uh of uh Thank vibes you. radio you know what i mean so just probably something that you have left Thank something you that you, so you love you know uh, your fans here to uh to uh to know to about know. who celebrated or to know anything anything that you have left that you want to talk about um not really i just want my fans to know like it don't matter what you do in life Mm. you don't have to be an artist you don't have to be a celebrity as long as you're a human being whatever you do just keep going Mm -hmm. don't let nobody stop you don't allow people to control your life don't allow people to make decisions for you and how you live your life yeah just continue to go like a person that never stops never Mm fails. whatever you're doing keep going everybody process you know some people process takes a little bit longer and you know, don't watch social media and watch what people's doing on social media right. and what's going on for other people and let that make you sad or depressed. Like, understand that everyone has this, their time yeah. and mm-hmm. their moment. And your moment and your time will come as long as you keep going. Mm. All right. Thank you very much uh, for passing through. What we're going to do right now, uh, we're going to lower down our mics and we're going to introduce Catch It because we're going to be catching it and playing it more All time. day, All every right? day. So this is what we're going to do. Just a little bit of a cappella, you know, so that people know, say, a real thing. You know, we had to make sure who celebrities are working in the morning to talk to us. You <laughs> yes. know what I mean? And a recording thing. You know what I mean? So This is the real deal. At this we do. All right. Let's go. Yo, 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 you're done here, girl. Oh, celebrity. This is my new single, Catch It. Kenya, big up on the stuff and I really left. And I mean, say, why ain't funny thing, girl, and broke up, broke up. More vibes we play 24 7 on Vibes Radio.